like that. Um, now, last sermon I preached about nakedness. So, I guess on that topic, let's read Leviticus 20. I just wanted to cover a couple of things, just clarify a few points from my last sermon that I didn't feel I really explained that well. Um, the first one was, you know, when I made the point about uncovering somebody's nakedness and saying, you know, I don't believe it's a sin necessarily to uncover somebody's nakedness. And that's, I don't think, uh, sorry, Leviticus 18. I'll go just go there. It's a bit clearer. I don't think Leviticus 18 and Levit Leviticus 20 are just talking about not looking at somebody's nakedness. It's actually talking about the physical sleeping together. Um, but let's just read a couple of verses here. It says here in verse 6, None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shalt thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father. Or daughter of thy mother, whether she be born at home or born abroad, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover. The nakedness of thy son's daughter, of thy daughter's daughter, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, for theirs is thine own nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife's daughter, begotten of thy father, she is thy sister, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister, she is thy father's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, for she is thy mother's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's brother. Thou shalt not approach to his wife, she is thine aunt. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law, she is thy son's wife. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover na the nakedness of thy brother's wife, it is thy brother's nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter, neither shalt thou take her son's daughter uh, or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness, for they are her near kinswoman. It is wickedness. Neither shalt thou take a wife to her sister to vex her to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime. Also thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she is put apart from her uncleanness. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her, and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto, it is confusion. And I'll just read up to there. So you can see here that there's a lot of statements here made not to uncover your near of kin's nakedness. And somebody might take this passage, and this is a point I was trying to, make, trying to make. Somebody might take this passage and say, see, there you go. It's not right to see another person's nakedness. But is this what this passage is talking about? See, if this passage is only talking about looking at somebody's nakedness, then why does it only talk about near of kin? We see here in verse 6, none of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him, to uncover their nakedness. So specifically when it goes through the uncovering of the nakedness, it's talking about uh, near of kin. So if, if this is just talking about looking at somebody's nakedness, it only mentions near of kin. So therefore, if you were to extend the law to say, well, you can't look at anybody's nakedness, that would need to be assumed. You'd need to say, well, it only mentions near of kin, but we're extending the application to far of kin as well. Now, if this verse, you're assuming that it doesn't only apply to near of kin, it, only apply, it also applies to far of kin, then can you take the interpretation now that this is actually talking about sleeping with people, actually intercourse? Because obviously it's saying here that you shouldn't sleep with near of kin, but anybody we marry ought to be far of kin, right? So we can't assume both. We can't say, no, it's only talking about looking and also assume that it's talking about far of kin, but also take this passage to mean it's talking about intercourse and, and it also uh, be talking about far of kin. So that's what I mean. Like you can't have it both. If it, if it doesn't include far of kin and it's only looking, then how can you make it also mean simultaneously it's about intercourse and excludes far of kin? So... That's what I mean by you can't hold both interpretations of this passage uh, simultaneously. Um, and if you say, well, it's, it's referring to intercourse and it doesn't include far of kin, does that mean you only can't look at near of kin, but you can look at far of kin? You know what I mean? Like it just, it just can't make it sort of uh, fit both ways. 